I know you're all probably wondering, as I was, so I'll just get this definition out of the way first. A shim is a shadow of an entity or object that serves as its soul, its life force, its spirit. All people and things have a shim, but what happens when an entity breaks the tie to that essential essence? I've heard of shadow play, but this is ridiculous. Before we go into the light, please take a moment to like and subscribe so you don't miss the review of your next favorite indie game. Check us out on Patreon if you'd like to score yourself some awesome indie perks, and tune in Thursdays at 8pm Eastern to hang out with Gamer Ghoul Friend here and on Twitch. Links to everything are listed in the description box below. Your indie gaming community is waiting for you. In Shim, we watch a young individual grow up, receive an education, find happiness, and lose everything, all in what feels like the blink of an eye. In the beginning, your only points of interaction as a shim are guiding your human host through the many stages of life, always with a specific goal in mind. One day after a series of particularly unfortunate events, that goal becomes a lot more abstract as we watch our person fall into a deep depression and eventually become severed from their life-giving spirit. Playing as the now separated shadow, you must reunite with your human and rather ironically rescue them from the darkness of their mind. In a sense, you have to help them rediscover their purpose. It's a beautiful concept that is told without the use of language or text, a universal theme that almost any human can relate to, which is honestly quite moving. I adore a story that transcends the confines of language and cultural differences, and Shim does this with a surprising grace and ease. As a Shim, you have the ability to jump from shadow to shadow, all the while attempting to inch ever closer to your human host as they traverse the trials and tribulations of life. Seemingly unaware of what they've lost. As far as controls go, you'll have your jump button, an interact button, a zoom to direct you towards your goal, and your camera controls. You'll have two jumps to make it from one shadow to the next before being teleported to your last checkpoint. Once you're in a shadow, pushing the interact button will cause some sort of reaction. Sometimes these reactions are pointless, like making a human sneeze or a car horn honk, but other times these interactions will be essential to your traversal, like flinging your shadow body around with a laundry carousel, or hitting a switch to open an overhead door. At first, I was filled with childlike amusement interacting with each object to find out what the reaction would be, but alas, the starry-eyed wonder faded fairly quickly as I began to find that many objects were relatively useless and interacting with them began to grow tedious. Shim is broken up into over 60 levels, and while you can use the zoom feature to guide you towards the general direction of your goal, it was still sometimes difficult to decipher where the game wanted you to go. That's not to say the game was challenging, in fact I'd say that Shim doesn't offer a whole lot in the way of challenge, it was just a little vague in its navigational guidance. To be honest, there were only a few points that I actually felt like I was playing a platformer. For the most part, it's a chill, albeit a little repetitive experience. If you are seeking a little more spice on your challenge scale, there are a few options that can be toggled on and off, such as your double jump and checkpoints, as well as a risky mode, which allots you a set amount of lives. It's not much, but at least it's something to add a bit of extra difficulty and perhaps even a reason to go back in and play again. Then there's the the camera angles, and this is my main complaint about Shim as a whole. While you're platforming your way through each level, you'll turn corners that will require you to redirect your viewpoint to get a better perspective of your path forward. However, the camera can only be adjusted in 90 degree increments. Unfortunately, these fixed camera angles mean that your vision is completely obstructed from some perspectives, particularly if there is a building or a large object in your way. I craved a little more freedom of exploration and discovery, especially since there are hidden objects scattered about the levels for you to discover. Allowing players to freely move the camera would make all the difference in the world in my enjoyment of the level layouts. As it stands right now, however, it's the biggest factor standing in the way of me fully enjoying my experience with this little title. On the bright side, Shim features an incredibly striking graphical style that is based in high contrast, low detail imagery that, naturally, plays heavily into the light element of the visuals. There's a level of precision 
precision to the angle of the shadows that reads as surprisingly realistic despite people, objects, and buildings having very little texture or detail. Different times of day or locations will have a different color scheme, and the colors themselves can be adjusted in the options menu as well. I'm by no means an art expert, so forgive my ignorance in this subject matter, but the art of shim overall gives me a duotone vibe that makes me feel like I was playing through a piece of art. The limited color palette made room for some unexpected creativity that I really appreciated. Further adding to the chill factor of this experience is the fabulously cool laid-back soundtrack. It's not going to shout its awesomeness at you from the rooftops, but the lo-fi beats will grow on you throughout your playthrough, truly making the relaxing gameplay without a whole lot of challenge feel intentional. This is perfect music to unwind with. It's a departure from my usual preference, which is typically a little bit more hard-hitting, but that's actually what I liked about it. It also paired really well with the sound effects used, and they blend together beautifully, particularly with headphones on. Shim is a game with a beautiful art style, a moving story, and gameplay that tries to stay fresh and creative, but is ultimately held back by frustrating camera angles and a twinge of monotony. Playing Shim feels like playing through a piece of art or a short animated film. What it lacks in challenge and variety, it makes up for in style and charm. As I mentioned briefly, beating the game does allow the player to go back in and find additional hidden objects or toggle some of the options like risky mode on and off to ramp up difficulty but at the end of the day, it's fairly short on content. Still, I think it's a perfect game to pick up and play in small doses or when you need to unwind your mind from the stresses of the real world. With all of this in mind, I'm rewarding Shim the bronze genie lamp of approval. With some updates to the frustrating camera and perhaps some supplemental navigational guidance, I think Shim could really shine.